Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you five different ways in which you can improve your chess game and these are methods that I myself have used over the years. Okay, so first and foremost you must analyse your slow play tournament games. And what I would recommend is that you don't use an engine when you go through your game for the first time. Try and figure out where you went wrong yourself and once you have found your mistakes try and verbalise what went wrong. For example, you might have played too passively or you didn't respect your opponent's ideas. And if you keep doing this, what you might find is that there are patterns in your mistakes and you can correct these. So I'm just going to show you a little example from my play. Um, there was a time in my chess career when I was playing a little bit too passively. Here in this position I was playing black and yeah, my position's already pretty bad. White has two nice bishops right there and I am a bit cramped. However, the move I played, which was knight to e8, it's just a bit too passive. I got into a habit of moving my knights backward for some reason. And this just left white with a really nice position. I think I wanted to play bishop d6 or something to trade off the pretty good bishop on f4. But it's just too slow and passive. And during this same tournament, I played a different game. And in this position here, it is black to play. Once again, my opponent has an edge uh, due to these nice two bishops. And here, guess what I played? Knight to e8. And this just it's just going backwards. And once again, knight on f to d7. My position still isn't great at all, but it would have been better if my knight was on d7 than e8. So after this tournament, I realized that I was making these errors. And these days, I am not so passive at all. Okay, secondly, I would really recommend annotating master games, looking through the games of the top players. And what I like to do when I do this is use these games to practice like new concepts I've learned or new ideas, uh, new things you can do to improve your game. So you might read in a chess book to look for weaknesses in the opponent's position. But it isn't enough just to read this. You have to get yourself doing this. And the way I like to do it is, I go through a master game and every single move, I would ask myself, okay, where are the weaknesses in this position, in both my and my opponent's position? And it gets really tedious if you ask yourself this question every single move. But if you keep doing it, say for a week, you analyse one game every day, you're going to start doing it without realising, you're going to start doing it subconsciously, it will become part of your intuition. And... I have been doing this recently and I have definitely seen improvements in my positional play actually. Um, I've been looking for weaknesses in every position in a few games that I annotated and it's really helped. Okay, so my third tip is to learn chess endings. But don't learn them like a robot and this principle applies to openings as well. You might read, you might see some theoretical position in an endgame manual and then you decide you're going to try and learn it. So you go through the moves every day of the end game. But it isn't enough just going through the moves. You have to think to yourself every time you go through the move what the move's actually doing. So let's say we have this theoretical position here. And it's black to play. And there's only one move that wins for black here. And it's king to c4, taking the opposition. Now if you don't know this end game, just look for it in another video. Search up opposition. I'm not going to go through it here, but if I was learning this endgame, when I reached this position during my repetition or my revision, it's not enough just to think to myself, okay, king c4 here. You think to yourself, king c4 because it takes the opposition. If you play king to d4, white will play king to d2. White gets the opposition. So you have to verbalize what is happening to make sure you don't just fall asleep and not actually know why the moves are working. Okay, so my fourth tip is to solve exercises. This gets the brain thinking. It could be a tactical exercise or it could be a positional exercise. You have to start thinking yourself, if you read through, let's say an openings book, yes, it's going to help your play a lot, but I think eventually people sort of fall asleep whilst they're reading these books. You need to start actively learning, actively solving exercises. And this has been a way that I've improved a lot as well. And finally, point number five, play as many on the board uh, rated uh, chess games as often as you can. 
and this is really one of the best ways to improve just play more serious games and make sure you analyze all your games okay so that was five points uh, five ways in which you can improve your chess game I hope you enjoyed a lot and I wish you luck in your improvement okay thank you for watching